Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Mm. Hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Mm. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You could subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Tally's Tarot. So, I'm going to slap down as the holy water. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pet Bale of Lulu's foot. Bale of June's in the house. I don't know where Kitty Boom... Oh, Kitty Boom Boom's in the other room. Yeah, she's by the Chime Water Fountain. She loves that Chime Water Fountain. That's my uh my healing chair over there, too. So she likes to sleep in my healing chair. She does. That girl needs heal, don't she, guys? You guys have heard her. <laughs> if you're a new subscriber, don't worry. You'll hear her. <laughs> Maybe not today, but, yeah, eventually you will hear her. Just stick around and you'll find out. She is something else. Mm -hmm. So, you know what time it is. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable Judge T.T. Dawn presiding. You can do whatever you want. So, <laughs> we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy might be approaching you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to quit it together just like we always do, baby. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh. Mm -mm. Well, yeah, I'm going to be having dinner with uh, Ruby's mom and sister this week. Oh, I miss them. I love them. They look so great. They're cool. Down-to-earth people. We've had so many dinners together. <laughs> Usually after Ruby's shows, uh, we always go out and always have dinner. Mm -hmm. yep. It's been a long time coming. Show! What the heck? <laughs> Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Okay. What do we got? What was that? Got the world card. Did something else touch me? No? Something touched me, Louie? He's like, no, mama. I... He's like, just, just, just touched by an angel. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Okay. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Okay. All right. Yeah, back in the day. I had birthmarks on my neck. <clears throat> And they look like hickeys, so you can imagine how much of a horrible time I had with boys growing up. And uh, my mom took me one time to see if they could get them lasered off, and they said it would make a worse scar than, you know, my birthmark. And so the doctor, you know what he said? He said, uh, he's like, you were kissed by an angel. And I was like, oh, that was so sweet. But uh, yeah, I used to have to get burnt. So when I apply for jobs, like I the first job I applied for, I had to get burn cream, like or burn makeup for burn patients to cover it up because they would judge me at the job interview if they see my birthmarks. So I would literally use the makeup to cover up my birthmarks because they looked like hickeys and I didn't want them to think I was like that. And because, you know, it looks gross, you know, and uh, if that's the case. And, uh, and then I'd come in the next day without my burn cream on and they were like, Oh, you can't have uh, hickeys on your neck. You're going to have to put band-aids on them. And I'm like, they're birthmarks. <laughs> and then they're like, oh. So it was I had, it was horrible when I was growing up younger. I'd always like turn my neck a different way so nobody would see my birthmarks. People would follow me to my car after work, even like older people. I was like in my 20s and I'd have like a 60-year-old couple follow me to my car. And they'd be like, you're the fun girl, the party girl. And I'm like, what? And they're like... You want to go home with us? We see you're into it. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, this is gross. So I like, because of my birthmarks, I had a lot of, uh, you know, people approaching me in, in horrible manners, you know? So I really had to deal with it. And now that, now that I'm older, I don't really care. I don't think about it. And uh, I can't wait till I'm 80. When, when I'm 80 and somebody says, oh my God, you got hickeys on your neck. I'm going to be like, Oh, yeah, I got me some last night. <laughs> oh, the card just read the tarot. Oh, I, 
The whole time I've been shuffling, too, so we don't have an overall. My bad, guys. Down on the table, I've got the world card here. I've got the ace of wands, the ten of cups. We've got the temperance. Okay. So, okay. This person could literally be wanting to travel to you. There could be a, a cycle starting, stopping, and completing. Um, and we have an ace of wands. So, this is a beginning, a new opportunity here for something. I don't know what. We've got the 10, okay? So this is all about completion, all about outcomes here. This is all about happiness. We've got temperance down here on the table, and temperance is all about alchemy, blending energies together to create something good, okay? But if you blend wrong energies together, then it could be ultimately a disaster here, okay? So you have to find a balance here. Uh, this person, it could also be, you know, somebody restraining from drinking, um, you know, or just restraining or somebody literally just trying to reach out to you to see what's going on. So we're going to talk to temperance right off the bat. We're going to see why temperance is here. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here in Pisces person's energy? Sure. Eight of cups. Let's get one more with the eight of cups to the temperance, please. Eight of cups to the temperance. Okay. Okay, so it's like they're not wanting to, I'm getting they're not wanting to connect, okay, like on a physical level, okay? Somebody here isn't wanting to connect physically here, okay, because they feel like maybe it's not the right time to connect physically, and I feel like somebody here is wanting to connect emotionally here. So why is this energy wanting to connect emotionally instead of physically? What's going on here? My deck's exploding again. Why is this energy wanting to connect emotionally? Why is this energy wanting to connect emotionally? Sure. Okay. Okay. Because this is what they're choosing. Okay. They want to bring balance here into the situation. Okay. So, connecting physically is not going to bring balance, okay? But connecting emotionally is going to bring balance. So, this is where this person is, this is good energy. You want to, you want somebody coming to you like this. This is some of the best energy that you could actually have somebody approach you in. Okay, I can appreciate that for sure. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, and it's, 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 it's work for this person. To persevere through this energy of not wanting to connect physically, but wanting to connect emotionally. But they're doing it only because they want to bring balance. And temperance is all about balance, too. It's about, be, you know, the yin to the yang. Two opposite things that bring balance. Okay. So what's this new opportunity, this new beginning here with the Ace of Wands? What's this new opportunity, this new beginning here with the Ace? Okay, it's shot all the way over here. New opportunity and a new beginning with death. Wow. Okay. Let's get one more on death. I got multiple things running through my head. What's going on with the Ace of Wands and death? Okay. Yeah, it's a new opportunity. A new day is on the horizon. It's a new dawn here. Okay? So, yeah. It's a beautiful energy. This is a, a, a new dawn of the day for this energy here. Alright? There's something here that's shifted here. But it's like uh, they want this new beginning here. Okay? And they feel like they have the ability to do this because this person has had a shift in their energy. So what is this shift in this person's energy? What is this shift? It's growth. Shift. Could be in communication. What's going on with the Empress? The shift towards the Empress? Wow. Ah, hold on a second. I'm going to get protection stone. I don't think it's bad here. Growth in love. Growth in love. This beautiful energy here. Yeah. Somebody is like literally, it's, it's, th this person is coming to you to tell you, to communicate to you. Their feelings, okay? 
So you got somebody here that wants to talk to you about their feelings and how they feel for you, okay? It's a huge shift. There's a shift. There's a shift in this energy. Uh, the, uh, all the energy. There's a big shift right now in the energies. I've been getting all kinds of weird stuff, as you guys know. I don't ever know what I'm going to get. I just read through the energies, and it's tough sometimes, but I, I'm, I do it. I do it. And does it exhaust me sometimes? Yeah, it does, okay? But do I work through it? Yeah, I do. I get through it. And then I take an Epsom salt bath. And then I try to eat a sandwich to the best of my ability here in baby slices. So what's going on um, with the Ten Cups? Show me the Ten Cups and why the Ten Cups is here. Why is the Ten Cups here? What is the Ten Cups? What is this Ten Cups down here on the table for? Sure. Okay. Okay. So somebody here didn't tell you what they originally wanted, okay? They didn't tell you what they originally wanted. They didn't communicate here their feelings to you here. And now there's been a change in their perspective. What is their perspective here under the hangman? What is their perspective? Okay. That doing this, honestly, it really burdened them, okay? Not telling you how they felt, okay? What they wanted here, the final outcome, really burden them here and what comes after 10 wands one it resets to a one that's the new beginning the new opportunity we have the ace of wands over here all right so let's go ahead and talk to the world card world okay right out the bat okay world here this is about options faith and patience here so what is it about the faith the patience and the options with the world please What is it? What is it? Okay. Okay. This is a challenge for this person. Uh, th there's a lot of adversity here. Okay. And this is a challenge here. Oh boy, Pisces. So it's like they're trying to have faith and have patience because there's been a lot of adversity here and a lot of challenges here when it came to uh, you know, <clears throat> the world here, something new, completing something here, okay, oh boy, this is a something, this is some energy here on the table, Pisces, whoo, doggy, all right, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna clear it down with the white sage, I'll grab the cozy witches and see what else this person wants to tell you, yeah, nine wands here, I feel like somebody wants to open, they want to open up and talk, somebody wants to tell you how they feel about you, if they want to communicate that for sure, yeah, and it's this is like this is an end in sight. This person desires you. There's an end in sight this person sees. There's a there's a they see it. It's an end in sight. I can almost see it too. Which is really weird. I'm seeing something. It's in, it's the end in sight. Okay. What else we want here? This person thinks you're really attractive. So we're gonna go ahead. 13 13 on the clock. I'm going to grab the uh, Cozy Witches and see what the witches want to tell you, Pisces. Sure. Okay. Uh, romanticize the present moment every single chance you get, even if you're alone. That's so important and so true. It's all about appreciating life, appreciating your life and the beautiful things that we're allowed to see. And, okay, so if life gets chaotic, find a way to get grounded and balanced, and we'll get one more from the witches. You don't have to be here if you don't like the witches. <laughs> so shine your inner candlelight bright enough for others to follow, my beautiful Pisces. So I hope this reading finds you well. Tarot's adjourned.